this video, I'm going to show you the power of LogoPress 3 unbending. We've got a pretty funky looking part here. Let's show our edges and then we'll save it. That's fine. And now I'd like to show you, introduce you to a command if you're not aware of this one. View display curvature. Great command for looking to see if a part is dirty or not. I call it dirty. You can see by the shading here that this is a dirty part. It doesn't have a nice crisp transition here like it does up here. So again, this part is kind of dirty. Another way that you can look at that, display curvature, turn it off, is to view temporary axes. So here you can see there's an axis right here. There's an axis here. But there is no axis here, axis here, etc. So that's another way of seeing that um, it's a dirty model. If we look and measure this one, we can see this is a 0.8 millimeter radius. This one right here is a 0.8 millimeter radius. This over here we can't measure. We only get a spline, splines, etc. So what LogoPress can do. If we go to unbending by steps, actually I'm going to show you, I think, uh, blank for bent part instead. So let's click on blank for bent part and click on the reference face. See right now the thickness is, the, is zero, excuse me. And I click here. And it recognizes all the bends. And now what didn't have axes before, as you can see, they all have axes. And we're going to use a DIN 6935K factor and unbend the entire model. That's what the blank for bent part does. It does the entire model all at once. And we're using a different K factor for each of these bends. We don't have to think about it. You can see there's smaller bends, medium bends, big bends. Doesn't matter. We don't have to think about which is which. We don't have to guess at a K factor, whether it's 0 0.25, 0 0.33. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, let the software do the work for you. And just about that quickly, we should be done pretty quick. We will have ourselves a flat blank that is extremely accurate. And I hope you'd agree that looking at this part in the folded state, that would take you a bunch of time to unfold. So that was LogoPress 3, blank for bent part. And now let's just take a quick look over at, I've got the strip open that I did for this part here a few weeks ago. Just thought it would be interesting to do. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And of course you wouldn't make these punches as close as I have them here. They need to be separated some. I just wanted to give you an idea so I could get the part cut away, so I could do the bending, bend down, bend up, bend up, uh, joggle up, or whatever you want to call it, another joggle down, and bend this down, bend this up, and uh, some other stuff up, bend those up, <clears throat> excuse me, U-shape those, Bend that up. Then we take these fingers out here, bend them down. Bend them up at a 45 degree angle. Finish the bend up. That one goes down. And that one comes up. And the part is done. And then we're ready to, in this station, we take it and we blank the scrap through the die. And the part is left sitting on the die and gets blown out the back. So that's blank for bend part, and I hope you liked it. Thanks very much.